Neil is a musician, an artist, and a cyborg. That's an antenna surgically implanted in his skull. That's actually attached to you, right? Yeah, that's uh, an antenna, a human antenna implant. He identifies as a cyborg. It's feeling that you're not using technology and that you're not wearing technology. It's feeling that you are technology. By definition, a cyborg is a person whose human skills are enhanced by technology. As devices increasingly take over our lives, some people are actually putting technology into their bodies. Neil, who's colorblind, says his antenna allows him to hear color. So this is very blue, blue. It converts the frequencies from different colors into the frequencies for different sounds. Why in the first place did you decide to attach this to yourself? I didn't want to wear technology. I wanted to, this to be a, an integral part of me, so that's what, how I kept developing it until I found a doctor that actually drilled my head and made it implanted. How did you find a doctor well, who agreed to, uh, to put that in your head? That was very complex because there's bioethical committees that don't really agree with the union between humans and technology. So in the end, I did find one and then he did it anonymously. So he did the implant. His partner, Moon, is also a self-described cyborg. She wears an antenna that she says vibrates every time there's an earthquake. I'm a choreographer and I want to perceive movement in the deeper way I can. If I was alone in the planet, what movement would I be able to feel? Then I, I realized there was earthquakes. And one particular cyborg sees business opportunity in embeddable technology. Emil Grafstra sells chips people can implant inside their bodies. I think we've sold probably around two to 3,000 implants uh, across all the different types. Emil has one in each hand and uses it to scan into his car, home, and personal safe. Essentially what I've done is taken a, an RFID access card and moved it from a pants pocket to a skin pocket. It sounds futuristic, but Neil envisions a world where implantable tech and surgical add-ons could give people superhuman abilities. We'll meet someone and we'll see that maybe they have a new body part, and then the question is what sense you have. So that will be a question that we'll ask people. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.